All right, well, we're back again. Yes, we're back to normal now, finally. And you know what today is? Today is Take Brandon Fishing Day. Yes, because he needs it. He's been working hard, been editing like crazy. His fingers hurt, right? We're going to take him bass fishing on Lake Okeechobee. He thinks the spinner worm, which is treating him pretty well right now, is going to beat me. So, Brandon, we need to go into the tackle shop, pick out some spinner worms, my friend. Time to get spinner worms. Time to get spinner worms. All right, we're here in Clewiston, Lake Okeechobee, post-hurricane. We're right here at our marina, right here. This is the actual marine center. We have the big marina over there, and we have all the boats for sale here. Rental boats, RV park, tackle shop, the whole nine yards. Let's go after you, after you, my friend. You need a good spinner worm. Do we have lots of choices here for no spinner idea. worms? <laughs> no idea. Well, pick out your spinner worm, my friend. I don't know which one's gonna work. Well, like, what do you think? I mean, what's what's your what's your tried and true combination, my friend? Well, up in New York, I was throwing an accent. Yeah. But I don't. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. There's <laughs> too many to choose from. I don't even know what place to go with. What if I get like the what wrong? What size do you need? Like what size? I didn't even know there was different sizes. You're blowing my mind here. What? <laughs> okay. So. What do you think? What size, Brandon? What size? Uh, I don't know. There seems to be a lot of three eighths. Yes. Mm -hmm. What color would you recommend? I really don't know. I don't. I don't know. You're the spinner worm expert, my friend. I pick stuff up off the bottom of your boat and I put it together. That's what I do. <laughs> I All right, I'm gonna help you out. Okay, here we go. You ready? Right here. Yeah. You know why? Half ounce. You know why? What's the name of it? Okeechobee Special, my friend. Okeechobee Special. Should have seen that. Yes, it's very, <laughs> that's why this tackle shop is so great. Because you can come in and just well, this find... This says Okeechobee Special, too. Well, yes, but it's a different color. It's a different combination. This is this is chartreuse and white. So, Maybe we should do a white one. A little leaf and a... We'll throw that one, too. Let's throw that one in there. Okay. All right. Now, we, we have worms. We're, what, do, what do we do in the worm situation here? What's your go-to worm combination here, color-wise? I don't know. I've been throwing green pumpkin. Yeah, all right, we'll find green pumpkin. Right there. Can't go wrong. You love your worm, my friend. So you feeling, you feeling confident today? A little bit, let's see how the fish are biting. Now that you and Jacob Wheeler went fishing, you got your spinner worm technique down like to a science, well, as a fisherman, you should know each lake's different. That is correct. Because uh, Swim Juke going to take you out today, dude. You're going to be begging for one. You're going to be begging. What Should the challenge be the most caught or the biggest one? We can keep count. I'll see. This might be the, be the most fish you've ever caught in one day. seagulls back there on the other spot and they could be back there better but they should be right in here even though I don't see the seagulls necessarily diving Ooh, I hear activity sometimes that's all you need if you don't find birds and you see activity that's what you need all right spinner worm I have already rigged one up for you while you were back there jacking around the camera I rigged it up for you just the way you like it So swim jig, swim jig, well there's a seagull. Impact swim jig versus spinner worm. We won't stay long anywhere we stop until we find them. We will not stay long. Because if they're here, we'll start catching them or we'll see them blowing up on stuff. Dude. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, Frank. The building is on fire. You got a bucket? You got a bucket anywhere? Dude, dude, dude. Just keep splashing, bro. Splash, 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 splash. Open up, open up this box. Open up this box. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna be in no fire. Not today. Keep throwing water on it. Keep throwing water on it. Dude, this is crazy, man. What is on? I don't even know what it's on. This is like all lit up like a Christmas tree back here. Is that white? You see, it's like yeah. bright red. Yeah. That was crazy. Dude, that was crazy. Dude, that's the first fire I've ever had in a boat. I had jumper cables back here to jump off my battery if I needed to. Look at that, dude. Look at the smoke coming out of there. Holy crap. Dude. This is like legit fire. Dude, I'm freaking out. Like I almost said, jump! Yeah, the Dude, what if the thing would have caught more on fire? It would have blown the boat up. Uh, yeah. Like, for real. That would have been bad. Holy moly, dude. Look at this. That is a lesson right there, my friend. Well, there's a lesson for you. Don't ever leave jumper cables laying around in a spot like that. Dude, dude, look at that. I mean, that's all. Wow. Dude, that was that was crazy. I had a pair of jumper cables back there that I've had. They bounced around, dude. Caught on fire. Oh, and when I say a fire, dude, I was driving, I started smelling like burning wires. Right. And I looked back, smoke was coming out of my seat thing like a chimney. Oh. When I opened up the back compartment, dude, it was flames this high. I thought the thing was gonna blow up. Dude, look, it's oh. all flames. Flames are shooting out. And we just started throwing water in there. And I grabbed, I had a thing of boat cleaner that would have exploded, but I got it out first because I thought it might ignite. So we're sitting there trying to put it out with our hands and splashing water in there. He's screaming for a bucket. I'm like, a bucket? We don't got no bucket. Dude, it melted. It didn't melt any of the wires all the way through here, but they're all like melted. They're all melted bad. Brandon screaming for a bucket. He started putting life vest on, dude. It was crazy. I didn't do that. He's, he's trying to call people. I need the money. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die. I was like, settle down. No matter how bad it is, you gotta keep calm. That's right. That's right. Keep calm. I stayed calm, didn't I? A little bit. I started screaming, splash water. We'll see. Keep splashing water. Keep splashing water. Thanks, man. I might have to start heading back your way. Okay, well today's day is turning out to be a fairly interesting one to first day back on Lake Okeechobee and almost blow my boat up. But we survived. We survived, Brandon. It's all about staying calm in situations. Dude, you started trying to find life vests and stick them on. And you were, I don't know who you were trying to call. What the heck? Trying to call the 911. Oh, right there's the boat. Oh, yeah. Got one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swim jig. Impact baby. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. Oh my gosh, watch out. Oh, that's a good one, dude. There he is. Oh. 
camera. Oh, and that's not even the one. There's actually a school on that point. There's actually a school on that point. Impact, baby. There's a boat. Is that, a, is that a boat from Irma? I don't know. Don't, if we get on it, oh, is that ours now? I don't know what's going on, sea. dude. It's like on land. Laws of the sea, right? I don't know, dude. Can we go get it? Hello? Hello? Unless they came in from the backside and they're stuck. And they left it here. Yeah, their motor's all trimmed up. Should we fly the drone over there to see? Investigate to see if there's a body laying around or something? We need to know. We need to fly the drone over there and check, dude. The one thing that we'll be able to tell when we fly the drone over there is to see if there's a trail from the backside coming into where that engine is. And that would show that someone got stuck and had to leave their boat there. If there is no chopped up trail, it could be from the hurricane. I'm not real sure. What's that land beside it? cooler with no lid there's another cooler in it there ain't no path go go behind it oh okay, yeah go like that I don't see anything dude does it look like a boat that's been fished in or does it look like a there's a cooler uh, uh, yeah that's like a cooler it wouldn't be sitting there if the hurricane blew it in there you know what I mean those ropes. See the ropes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like, see that, it's all bent down right in there? You think someone probably stole this boat? And it's... No, because they would have taken the engine. I mean, they wouldn't have just stole a GPS. Well, what if they uh, stole it and then just went joyriding? And then tossed it? I don't know who's joyriding all this stuff. I mean, there's no joyriding there. So, by law, this is my boat? <laughs> it's our boat, my friend. Our boat. But we have like to come you, get like the boat. You, like you don't already we have, have to come three get the boats. boat. <laughs> we have to get the boat. Okay, let's get the boat. Okay. <laughs> okay. To be continued, my friend. To be continued. <laughs>